Hey, Joe Pell from Bark, and today we're going to look at Milwaukee's new 1100L LED flashlight. Uh, this guy has our TrueView light technology. It has a really beautiful color to the light. So this guy right here has three modes, a high, a low, and a medium. You activate the light with the power switch right here, which will indicate how much energy is left in the light. Green is 100%, yellow is uh, in the 50% range, and red means you're about to run out of power. It will flash for a, a moment right before it's about to run out of power. Changing the light mode is a little counterintuitive. To turn the battery on, on and off, you just depress the switch. But to change the light mode, you press and hold the switch, and then you can change the light. So it's kind of now you're able to focus the light from flood to spot, just twisting the top of the light right there. It moves pretty smoothly. It's a little tough at first, and then once you uh, work it in, it, it's not too bad. One thing that is difficult to turn is the cover that goes over the uh, micro USB port. So this is where you charge the flashlight at, and this spins, but it's really tight. So all you gotta do is move this white dot back over to the USB port symbol, and you're right in there, you can plug it in. It has a belt clip right here. This belt clip you can remove. Uh, you just gotta spin it, and it comes off, it's a little tough, not too bad. To access the battery, you just twist the base right here. It was really tough the first time. I had to use a uh, screwdriver to clamp on that to get a good enough grip to get the light out. But it has their proprietary uh, red lithium batteries in here. It comes with the three amp hour, but you can put any, any size or any of the uh, red lithiums into here to uh, swap out the batteries. This flashlight is waterproof to one meter and I believe drop resistant to four feet. I haven't tested those two out personally, but I'll just take Milwaukee's word for it. So in the three modes that you can use this flashlight on, the high or 1100 lumens is supposed to run for 1.75 hours in my own independent non-scientific testing. It gave me the warning blink at one hour 25 minutes and turned off at an hour 33. So quite a bit short of the advertised 1.75 hours. At the 600 lumen mode, it's supposed to run four and a half hours. I blinked that it was running out of power at four hours, seven minutes, and turned off at four hours, 23, which was pretty close to four and a half hours, but still not hitting the mark. Usually their lights actually run the whole time or even a little bit longer, so I was pretty surprised uh, that this was running out of power so quickly. Uh, at the 100 lumen mode, which is a low power, it's supposed to run for 13 hours. It blinked that it was running low at 12 hours, 20 minutes, and turned off at 12 hours, 44 minutes. So a full 15 minutes short of the advertised uh, runtime. Kind of disappointing. The light does fit in the side pocket of my jeans, although it's pretty big and pretty heavy uh, to probably carry all day, especially since I like to carry a utility knife in that same area, so it makes it pretty bulky. So it's okay for putting in there for a short period of time, but I don't know that I would want to carry that in there all day. I am really happy with the performance of this light though. The high mode is super bright. Way is, it's just as bright as any flashlight you'll need of this size. We're in the uh, spot mode right here. When you uh, twist the top to widen out the flood, you really get a nice wide area of coverage. Here we go, some nighttime testing. This is the high beam at the uh, flood. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto a spot. That shed is about 90 feet away. So you get great distance off of this. Let's go ahead and uh, take it down to medium. That's 600 lumens. And 100 lumens. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't get you very far. Now this is the uh, spot. Take her out the flood. So that's about 12, 15 feet right there. Not too bad. We'll crank her back up to high. And that is really bright. So I have to say, I really like this flashlight. There's gonna be two major objections to it. Uh, the first is gonna be, of course, the price, uh, but that's to be expected with any Milwaukee product. And then the other is gonna be, you can only use their proprietary battery in this unit. So if you're just getting into the Milwaukee battery systems, this might be a rough go, but if you already own a bunch of products that have this battery like I do, then it's pretty easy to uh, justify getting it. But other than that, I'd say it's a pretty solid unit.